Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 9, lesson 11, at mixed numbers. Page number is 677. Okay, guys, first of all, you have to understand that what are mixed numbers. If we are writing numbers in this way, 1, 2, 3, these are whole numbers, complete numbers. And if we are writing the numbers in terms of fraction, like this 2 3rd, 3 4 5 6 these are fractions, incomplete numbers. Complete numbers, whole numbers, and fractions, incomplete numbers. When we write both of them together, like for example, 3 whole and 2 third, in this form, that is known as mixed numbers. When you write a whole number and a fraction together, it means what? The three complete and the fourth one is not complete. From the fourth one, we divide it into three parts and out of three parts, we just have two. So the numbers, whenever you see in this form, that is known as mixed numbers. Okay, how we add the mixed numbers, guys, here? First, like for example, we are going to add 2 whole 1 over 4 plus 1 whole 1 over 4. How we add it? First of all, you will add the whole numbers, 2 plus 1, 3, and then you will add the fractions, like normally you add the fractions, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, 2 over 4. You know that we only add the numerators, the denominator stays same. And now you can simplify it, divide by 2 up and divide by 2 down. So it will be 3 whole, 1 over 2, 3 and a half. Here it is. Okay, now when you have different denominators in this one, see this guys? First of all, you have to make the denominator same. This is 8, this is 8, this is 4. The denominators are not same, so you can't add. So you have to multiply by 2 here to make it same, this one. It will become 3 whole 2 over 8, 3 whole 2 over 8. And then you will add it all. So it will become 5 whole uh, 2 over 8. And then you will simplify, divide by 2 up and divide by 2 down. So it will be 5 whole 1 over 4. Similarly here guys, 3 uh, whole 3 over 8 plus 2 whole 1 over 8. Here they are doing it in the terms they are divided the 3 into 1, 1, 1. No need to do that. You can do it directly. You just multiply by 4 here and 4 up and 4 down to make the denominator same. Okay. So you will add the whole numbers first 3 plus 2, 5. 3 plus 4 because 1 times 4 is 4. 7 and this is 8. Denominator stays same. Okay, explain how to simplify this one. You can see 6 over 4, it is an improper fraction. So how we simplify it, guys? What we do, let me show you. We check that how many 4s we can take out of 6. Only one 4. We add it with the 3. It will become 4. And 6 over 4, if you take one 4 out of 6, the remainder is 2 over 4. So it will be 4 whole 2 over 4. And then you simplify it. Divide by 2 up, divide by 2 down. It will be 4 and a half. Again guys, we check that whenever you see an improper fraction, like 6 is bigger, the numerator is bigger than the, the denominator. So what you check, you check that how many 4s, how many denominators you can take out of the numerator. You add the same number in the whole number. How many 4s you can take out of 6? 1. So you add 1 here in the whole number. It will become 4. And remainder, if you take out 4, it's 2. The denominator is same. And then you simplify it. Similarly, guys, you will solve all these questions in independent practice and match your answers from this video. You have to solve in this way, complete, okay, all the questions. First, make the denominator same, like you'll multiply by 2 here, multiply by 3 here, and then you will add it here. 
the complete way is shown this is the final answer first we get this it was improper fraction we can take how many 10 out of 15 1 10 out of 15 so you add 1 here it will become 17 remainder 5 over 10 then you simplify it the same thing here 24 is bigger than 20 19 is bigger than 12 so you take 1 12 out of 19 21 will become 22 here 120 out of 24 22 become 23 remainder 4 okay similarly this one zeta made one whole 7 over 8 quarts of punch then she made one whole 7 over 8 so when you add two whole 12 over 8 how many 8 you can take out of 12 1 8 so 2 will become 3 and remainder if you take minus 8 from 12 4 over 8 uh, find 5 and 2 eighths, 5 and 2 eighths, plus 3 and 6 eighths, 3 and 6 eighths, so 5 plus 3, 8, 2 plus 6, 8 over 8 is also one whole, so 8 plus this one equals 9. They want you to write in word form, so it is 9. Okay, this one, uh, you have to add all of them, so the denominator, these three are same, you will make this one also same, multiply by 2. 3 whole 2 over 4 and then you add all of them you'll get 7 whole 7 over 4 and then you will simplify it 8 whole 3 over 4 how many 4's you can take out of 7? 1 so 7 will become 8 and if you minus 4 from 7 it will be 3 okay similarly guys here is the mistake that we don't add the denominators denominator stays same it should be 5 and here is some explanation I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.